So we're right back here on Revan to the Coast. We are taking this as seriously as possible, trying to get the last few remaining diamonds that we have yet to find in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And having a mythical brown bear to start out with definitely is not a bad deal. I wanted to bring the 338 today, kind of switching up our loadout a bit just to have some other weapons. But I've had a bit more time to just kind of grind Revan Tuli. We've shot a ton of geese, a bunch of raccoon dogs, and I really want to stick to single player. We started the Revan Tuli Coast single player only diamonds challenge. We're just a few diamonds away from completing it, and I don't want to give up on it and go to multiplayer just to get those last couple. So hopefully our recent time put in will pay off. And definitely not a bad deal getting a really big gold brown bear over 400 kilo to get us started. Hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Well, I think we found one of the better areas for Raccoon Dog. We've got a bunch of them running across here, and we had them access them at track. So I'm hoping wherever that one's at, it's going to come out from these reeds. But let's get the level 5 first. We may just quickly swap to the 338 and try to get that level 3 female just to get that out of the way. And I'm certain I saw another one over to the left, but let's see, that's a female too. So I guess we'll go 338 again. Can add quite a bit of hunting pressure to this area, but I never did see that last one come out of there. So maybe it just went up along through the brush and we can find the track. None of these are the max weight one though. So maybe we got to go back the other way, but our first male raccoon dog of the hunt is a 6.73. And then the two females up here, and by the way, just to kind of pull back the curtain a little bit to what gets cut out of the videos, the last like 20-25 minutes have been doing exactly that. As you can see, we've shot quite a number of just small bronze raccoon dogs over and over, and largely with the 338 because it's just better to not track them. But wherever the max weight estimate one is, that definitely will be one for the 243. And it's kind of looking like he didn't go this way. I don't know how we lost the track. I just figured he was in that bunch of them that we could see. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, though admittedly kind of expected. Most of our max estimate tracks end up being pretty low scoring, but it's good just to see one, and I think we're going to end up missing out on the gold there, unless we can somehow save it, because seems we get too far back, but I want to make sure that we get the level 3 female. That's kind of why we've gotten to this point where, you know, we're shooting a ton of female raccoon dogs that are mostly being cut from the video and that's why I wanted to talk about that because if for instance the 338 ammo count drops by like 15 and you're wondering what happened it's probably because we just shot a ton of raccoon dogs that are gonna score silver or bronze and I'm 100% convinced you don't get respawns for raccoon dogs unless you shoot the pair both the male and the female and a bunch of random solo females running around I think are a product of not having done that so that's kind of what we've been up to, and that's why you may see the ammo count drop. We were too far back at that angle, but just nice to see another max estimate one. It's been a while since we have, I can't even remember the last one that was, but kind of good to see this many. I mentioned in the last video that I tried hunting them during their drink time, and we were actually finding less than we did just hunting them this way. We're killing a ton today. Now this is a little bit interesting. We've got a white plumage type, kind of decent sized willow ptarmigan. I'm still not sure if those are rare or uncommon. I think they're closer to the rare side. We'll see if we can maybe find that and take that out with the 16 gauge. There were some ptarmigan right over here, and I may well have just looked right past it and not noticed it, but hopefully we can get that taken out. That's, I think it right there. And we're nowhere near where we just had the track. We actually just rested back to their rest time which the zone was way down there unless we've got two of them but that certainly appears to be the white plumage type and it is a gold female at 697 i think that's our best one literally one pellet in the foot we are definitely too far back shooting through the trees that's pretty darn cool though the weight range matches so i would guess that's it but i wonder why they were way over here it was getting late, it was like almost 1700, and to be able to see raccoon dogs in the distance and all that stuff a little bit better, I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to rest anyway and kind of get back to the middle of the day. That's when I tend to find the most of them. We better go down there and check just in case there's another, but I would imagine, I mean, within reasonable distance, that was probably it. But I mean, you can kind of see, it's just a little bit nicer to hunt them when there's a bit better lighting. 
Would have been ideal to have reloaded the 243. That's probably still from shooting that max weight estimate one. That shot we did a little bit better on. And a potential gold there as a level 6. But we have been really making progress, at least in terms of numbers. I mean, we cannot complain about the amount of raccoon dogs we've shot. And prior to getting the Willow Tarm again, there were still more on the list. So we're probably in the area of 20. And mostly females. Mostly solo females. As we do have a gold here at 7.21. That is a goal by literally 0.01, but my hope is that by shooting that many solo females and let's say half are in pairs normally, there might be 10 more males out here next time and hopefully one of them respawns as a 9. I said it last time, we've killed, I mean hundreds and hundreds of raccoon dogs by now. I feel like we're due for one to show up. You know, on one hand, I'm definitely stoked that we're being able to get so many raccoon dogs today. But on the other hand, we really haven't had that many decent ones. We had the one max estimate seven, and then this is our second level six. Everything else that we've seen today has been smaller than that. Now, there was a female with him, and again, we want to make sure we take out the pair when we can. I don't know where it went, but he was a 6.85 silver, so lower end, and just barely even got the silver on him by hitting the liver there, but that will take. And hopefully we can figure out where the female one went. Maybe that's it there, so if we can get a shot into there, we will. I'm worried about it going down over the hill, but rolled it with the 338, which does not mean much. We very well could hit it in front of the vitals, but at least getting out of the way, I think. I'm not sure. There's a bunch of different tracks here from a bunch of different female raccoon dogs. And again, how many of those used to be in a pair and we just shot the male? I don't know, but the more we can get, the better. By the way, that was intestines, so I guess we were actually too far back i mean we'll take a positive wherever we can get it got another level seven there gonna be a kind of tough shot that would potentially be better i don't know how that dropped it it must have been liver or something like that and then maybe this would be the female from the pair i do have to say there's been something about having the 338 today that's made us just a little bit more efficient with shooting the females and it, it could be the magazine size because Sometimes with, say, the 7 mil with a 3-round mag, if I forget to reload the gun, we've got one shot and we miss it, then it gets below a hill behind some brush or whatever it may be. But, I mean, the numbers don't lie today. We've shot a ton of these things. And on the other side of it, there's been almost none that have gotten away, which definitely is what normally happens. I mean, we have to be 30 or 40 raccoon dogs into this hunt. This guy is a 7.89. Not bad. Nearly the max weight estimate anyway, and we... Got him right at the back of the lungs. Lung, liver, and stomach, plus the back leg there. But, I mean, we'll take it any day. That ends up being our biggest in terms of metal and score. Obviously, he had the one, like, 7.95, I believe he was. Finally, we've located this bear again. So, like, an hour and a half ago, I caught a glimpse of this legendary bear just running through the trees. I couldn't find his tracks. I finally figured, you know what? We're not here for bears. We're wasting time. Let's just make it brown bear drink time and see if we can find him. And then spent like an hour wasting time trying to figure out where on earth he drank at. But we have the 338. He's about 200 meters away. And I think when he lifts his head, we can just go ahead and go for this shot and hopefully put it into a quest for a diamond. We shall see. I've got to say he's dropping slower than I would expect, but it must be a vital hit. And 27 to 29, that's about the estimate you would expect. I think he's like a brownish fur type. Like I said, it was a very brief glimpse. Luckily, I spotted him. And then just an absolute marathon searching for him in this area. I really, we spotted him, I don't know, way down here. I don't know what he's doing drinking up here, but maybe he was just far from his normal zone when we first saw him. But he didn't go all that far. It was, in fact, a vital hit based on the blood. So moment of truth does appear to be like a brownish fur type, but let's see if everything we just went through was worth it. 27.60. 27.70 is the diamond requirement. He has a very low weight, under 440 kg, does not give them a good chance. An hour and a half <laughs> that we could have been shooting raccoon dogs or geese or anything else. And it's stuff like that, and whether he made diamond or not, it's stuff like that that definitely does not help us in hunting for those missing diamonds, but at the same time, it's also those sort of things that kind of can keep us going in looking for 
basically the same thing non-stop and not seeing it but I think we're maybe gonna go and do a little bit of geese hunting to wrap up the amount of ground we've just covered I don't think it would be a terrible idea to sit still for a while and I don't know maybe we can get some time to redemption because that's unfortunate and so kind of continuing where we left off on Monday trying to get like the best blind placement and I think we're getting somewhere here like these are landing at least within reason of shotgun range so we'll just go ahead and pick one I'd like to get a male but it really doesn't matter because we got to get everything at the end of the day would have been ideal to shoot one out of the air but for now we'll just try this I like where these ones are going too I don't know if that's going to be consistent but if they want to fly out past the blind we're probably more likely to get a few more we will check and see if we can pick out a male or something to get. I mean, I'd like to just get a goose as it's flying away. That angle is not going to help us, though. So we'll probably save our 22 rounds. I think we still got maybe three or four. I'm not sure if we hit. Yeah, we got four, I guess. Not a bad deal. One male there as a level two. I think there was a three, but that's not a bad deal. This was a setup that we put up a while ago. It was near this building. You may remember it from several videos back here on Riven to the Coast and we had never actually hunted it and the problem was we didn't really set it up correctly so I moved everything we've actually got widgeon decoys because there's some of those around here as well and it seems like this is going to work a little bit better it's maybe not perfect still we could scoot that blind out a bit more but we'll give them a few tries because they don't always land exactly in the same spot anyway it's insane that this feels like a rare encounter but we just don't get a lot of even level four geese of either gray lags or tundra bean geese but I guess we'll try to take this guy out of the air just cause. Man should get him just perfect hit that one as well. And that guy, there were a bunch more, but they were all kind of in the trees. So and there's some white tail here. Good to know, I guess, but I guess we're gonna end up with just the three. I really wanted to make sure we got the level four. There was a three and for all I know we could have killed it. I was not paying attention to anything we shot other than the level four, but it looks like they landed over there in shallow water. So that was a level one female. Got two more there and our herd of whitetail, which I think at the moment we don't have any ethical weapons for them, so we'll just let them go. But that could be something we run into as well. So that was our four, 2.86, whereas diamond is 3.16. That's another thing too. Level four diamond geese exist. And I mean, every time we shoot one, we could get away with getting a diamond without ever seeing a level five, because in the live game, we've not seen a level five of either. I keep on referencing the diamond tundra bean goose we shot in early access. That's the only five of either we've ever seen, and obviously early access did not count for Riven Tuli. All those trophies are gone forever. But I do actually think it's these flocks with just a couple of geese. I think there's only two females in here that are the most important to take out. We're going to reload real fast. That one's going to probably spook, so let's just go ahead and get ahead of that. And where did the other one get to? That is going into the trees. But we got that one too, so the reason that's important, and probably more important than just like shooting level 4, is that this is a flock that we've shot almost every goose out of, and much like the raccoon dogs, I'm convinced that you have to shoot literally every goose in the flock until you get respawns and basically get a respawn of an entire new flock. So by shooting that level 4, I mean that's good, obviously we got a good sized goose, but probably we don't get any respawns from that until we shoot the rest of the flock, at least that's what I'm seeing. So doing something like that, getting those two females taken out, probably more important than anything else we can do. On that note though, I think we are going to go back to the Trophy Lodge and place our Willow Tarm again. We've been here for four and a half hours, which, you know, I think it's going to take that type of time commitment to get what we're after, but at least we got something good in the process. And as far as I can remember, this is the only gold white plumage type Willow Tarmigan we've shot in all of our time on Reventuli Coast. So definitely, I think, deserving of a main lodge spot. They are like a rare, but just not as rare as some other things, but pretty cool and just add some variety to the lodge. And I like that pose. I don't think we've ever used that. We've got a number of Tarmigan in here, but pretty cool. And there is a multi-mount for them, but it's for a male raccoon dog and a male Willow Tarmigan. And if we ever get our diamond raccoon dog, Maybe we can do that with one of the diamond ptarmigan we have, but I just think, as I said, it's going to take that type of time commitment to get what we're after at this stage. And if we can have results like we had today, we shot a ton of raccoon dogs, good number of geese, unfortunately the brown bear trolled, but lots of stuff we run into, and there's always that chance of running into something special like the ptarmigan as well, especially when we're shooting those things just in passing hunting for the main stuff. But four and a half hours, we shot a lot of stuff today, and hopefully something from that will result in a respawn of a diamond or rare or something cool. But anyway, 
that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.